Hi everyone, this is Fisher Coder here. Today we're going through Lead Code problem 1243, Array Transformation. Okay, be before we dive in, please do me a favor and hit the like button, which is going to help with the YouTube algorithm a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel, which is dedicated to provide high quality Lead Code tutorials to help people brush up on their data structures and algorithms to better prepare for software, for software engineering interviews. All right, with that said, let's dive deep into today's lead code problem. The problem goes like this. Given an initial array, ARR, every day you produce a new array using the array of the previous day. On the ith day, you do the following operations on, on the array of the day i minus one, which is the previous day, to produce the array of day i, which is for today. There are three ru rules to do the operations. Rule number one is if an element is smaller than both its left neighbor and its right neighbor, then this element is incremented. Rule number two is when if an element is bigger than both its left neighbor and its right neighbor, then this element is decremented. The last rule is that the first and the last elements never change. And after some days, the array does not change at all, return that final array. Very straightforward. Let's walk through one example. Given this array, 6, 2, 3, 4, the first and final element, they don't change. So 6 and 4, they don't change. So we'll just look at 2 and 3, which are none first and none last elements. We see 2, we basically need to apply the first two rules to each of the elements in the middle. So does 2 smaller than its left and right neighbors? Yes. So we'll increment 2 by 1, which becomes 3. Um, so this is either or, right? Uh, either this element is smaller than both its left and right neighbor, or it's bigger than. So it's going to be an if-else situation. Um, so we finished the second element. The third element is going to be whether it's smaller than both its left and right neighbor. No, it's bigger than the left, but smaller than the right. So it doesn't meet any of these two conditions. So we just finished iterating. And we check again. This is the, um, this is the output after the first iteration. And we'll check again to see whether these two elements could change still after, after the first iteration. We see that it's not going to change anymore. Then we just exit. We'll just return this output, right? Um, we'll walk through the second example. The second example goes like this. You can see the explanation. On the first day, the array is changed from the original input to this. Right? And then the second day, it's still changed to this. From this one. This is the, this is the uh, input from this intermediate uh, output. And after the second day, this one cannot be changed anymore. So we'll just return this array. Very straightforward solution, a very straightforward problem. So the solution is going to be very straightforward as well. What we will do is basically to, it's, people call it a brute force solution, but there's really, no, there's really, no, there's really no other way to solve this problem. Is basically we have a um, while loop we basically have a loop to go through to keep iterating, keep applying these uh, three rules on top of these arrays. While we have intermediate arrays, we'll just keep iterating through them again and again until the current, the newly produced array equals to the previously produced array. At that point, we'll just exit, break out of the loop and return that array. That's it, right? So with that said, let's start dive into the code. Uh, so first we'll have an array. We'll make a copy of this array. Let's call it copy. And then we'll have another variable called len, called length. We'll use this variable a lot. So we'll just give it a variable name. While. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do copy, arrays, copy of, which is going to be array and len. 
which means we're going to copy this entire array up to its full length, right? And then what we will do is we'll have a for loop inside of this, int i equals one, i smaller than, then minus one, i, i plus plus. So we'll start from the second index, which is at index one, up until the second last, which is at index len minus two. So it's going to be like that. And then we'll just apply the two conditions. What we'll do is we're going to use copy i is smaller than copy i minus one and copy i is going to be smaller than copy i plus one. In this case, what we'll do is array i plus plus, right? Which means this is basically satisfying condition array condition uh, rule number one, right? The rule, then we'll check, and this is, as I said, it's if all. It's it's either going to meet this condition or it's going to meet uh, rule number two. So we'll have array copy um, i greater than copy i minus one and copy i greater than copy uh, i plus one. In this case, what we'll do is I decrement it. That's what we're going to do, right? Another reason why we're using copy here is because basically we are changing this array, this original input array in place, which means that if we use array here, that's not going to be correct, right? Because say in case this condition holds, we enter here, and then this will be um, the value at index i is going to be changed, which is not going to be correct. That's another reason that we need to use copy here. All right, that's it. Uh, then while, uh, we'll, what we will have to check is that whether these two arrays, do they equal each other or not, which is here and copy. Are they equal? If they are not equal, we'll just continue. If they do equal, what does that mean? As I just said, that means this copy that we just pre produced since last run equals to the one that we uh, we entered before we entered this while loop. That means these two arrays are equal. That means basically it's not changing at all, uh, even after this for loop, right? So that means we're, we're good. This is the final array. It's not going to be um, modifiable anymore based on these three rules. All right, then we'll just return which is going to be, this is an array. So we're going to use Java 8 arrays, uh, arrays stream, we're going to stream this array and this is boxed. So we're going to box that into integer and then collect collectors to list. All right, that's it. And this is what we need to return. Let me double check. Um, I think this is looking good. If it's smaller than both its left and right neighbors, we're going to increment it. If it's greater than both its left and right neighbors, we're going to decrement it. Okay, that's it. Let's submit it. All right, it's accepted. Cool. Um, this is basically um, the algorithm and the solution for this um, problem. Very straightforward problem uh, and solution. Basically, what we need to do is to have a while for loop outside to keep iterating through um, and an inner for loop inside this while loop to keep uh, going through the intermediate arrays um, and to follow these three rules as described as defining the problem until there is nothing could be changed. Well, that uh, basically concludes the tutorial of this problem. Uh, if you like this video, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we are publishing YouTube uh, Leaco tutorials um, on a daily basis. Uh, just stay tuned. Uh, I, I really appreciate appreciate it if you guys could leave me any comments, questions, feedback, or anything that or any problems that you would like me to um, produce a video tutorial on. Please leave me comments below. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. See you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.